We're going to get into the episode, but first I want to try to say something in Danish. Feel free to correct me in the comments. Like, go ahead, get your fingers ready, because I'm going to butcher this. Du betja mega for ma. Tak for di du so me. Which I think says, according to Google Translate, so take it up with them. You mean a lot to me. Thank you for watching. Let's go to the episode. Hey there, welcome back. It's episode 41 of Dominating Denmark with BK Fred in the Super League. Oh, what? Smash that like button. You guys killed it the last time I set a light goal of 35. Today we hit 36. It took you a couple days. It's cool. Not judging. Thank you so much for your support. Let's do it again, right? Just keep smashing the like button, please. Over and over. A couple of housekeeping things before we get started. I have a bit of a sore throat. This is a problem when you are a man who makes videos. So I need to go to bed is really what's happening here. So I think I told you in the last episode we were going to play Copenhagen and then we were going to go play uh, Vale. We're not going to do that because I don't I don't have time to play three more games. Just being honest. So we're going to play these two games. Silkborg, who uh, I think beat us when we were down in the first division and got promoted back up, and they've obviously managed to survive, so we're going to kick them back down. But both games are televised. Pretty good introduction to the league. We do need to get going. I'm a bit worried, right? Two to one against Randers. Right. I know that's not how you say it, is it? Someone told me once. It's late. I'm sorry. I'm tired. My throat hurts. Um, so we're going to do that, and then maybe we'll hop ahead and do maybe Vale and whoever we get in the DBU Pokal in the second round. Maybe, right? Uh, I also want to let you know, I'm pretty sure we're going to kill off the Darkest Dungeon uh, series. Just no one's watching it. It it's it takes me about an hour to, to record, usually, maybe, maybe 40 minutes. And then I've got to edit it and process it. It's like, to have three people watch a video is just... It's just tough, right? So I'm thinking of something we're going to replace it with. I haven't completely decided. I'm open to your thoughts down in the comments below. Let me know if you've got any suggestions. But for today, we're taking on FC Copenhagen. Or Copenhagen. Whatever. Right. We're going to play a 4-1-4-1. Because we got really kind of our teeth kicked in, and they're pretty good, right? Like, I think they've, uh, yeah, they've won the league. Yeah. So we're going to play 4-1-4-1. We're going to put Hebo on an anchor versus a halfback. Because what I was reading in the description of the halfback plays somewhere between an aggressive sweeper and a defensive midfielder. The central defenders push themselves up higher. I don't want that. I want these guys to stay back and him to be in front. So we're going to go anchor. So the water carrier, sit in the hole, intercept moves, win the ball, lay off simple passes, that seems to, to fit him quite well. I mean, he can do some nice passing, so maybe we should try that at something else, but not against this team. So we're going to play standard. That's what was recommended by our coach. I really think we should play like contain against the best team in the league that's won the title four years running, but we're not going to. Uh, we got Reiner Peterson. He's just a little bit tired, so we're going to throw in Kevin Phil Jorgensen because we need to get him some game time. And, well, he yeah, he's not match fit at all, is he? Gundelak can play over there. George is obviously in his standard position. Donyo is okay. So our winger, our two wingers we have are okay. Agud only plays up here. He's like, nah, I don't know what's happening. Christian Anderson can kind of play in the middle if we needed to. He also picked up a, a recent trait. He's able to now place his shots. He, he makes bad decisions when he shoots, but he can place them when he makes the right one. Skovgaard's coming off injury. I think we can play him like 60 minutes, something like that. So we're going to swap him out for uh, Skov here. And, uh, hmm... It's said to have a bunch of people on support. We'll see how this goes. I'm thinking it's going to go poorly. Which is exactly how you want to start an episode, right? Oh, we can play for 45 minutes. Daniel Holmes almost back. Thank you, Daniel. So, it'd be great if we could get a point here. Just one. Just a single point. We've kind of simplified the instructions. We've taken the play out of defense off. Be more disciplined. Exploit the left and right flanks. Work the ball in the box. We're just trying to keep it simple. 
Don't get overwhelmed just because you're here. I'm almost out of tea. It's hot tea, which I don't... For most of you, I'm guessing in Europe, you're like, yeah, it's hot tea. It's what That's what you do. We have this thing called sweet tea, which is like, okay, you want to make sweet tea? You take some tea. You, you get the water boiling and all that. You pour, you take like a five pound or whatever that is, like six and a half kilos, I don't know, of sugar. And you dump it into the water until it's like thick syrup. Not really, not thick, but you dump it into the water. And then you add the tea and you have sweet tea, which is amazing. It's delicious. Add two slices of orange if you have like a regular, regular cup of sweet tea. Ugh, that's amazing. Of course, then you, your blood sugar goes whoosh, and then you crash it. Okay, Brugman down to Cornelius, except for the guy after Brugman. We're going to leave everything else off. I just don't want us chasing after people. It's just like, stick stick to your positions. Let's just cautiously say, come on, everyone, show me what you can do. I, I, I love the cautious, cautious. Uh, I think there's more to come from you. And they're buying it. They're buying it, friends. They're buying it. Here we go. Our guys are walking in like, whoa, look at all the banners and all the trophies from where they've won. We're, we're going to nick a goal. We're going to get our first actual goal. No, we're not. We're going to give up another one. Yep. Oh, you, the monster save. Oh, come on. Let him save. Thank you very much. Yes. But we're, uh, we're, we're, we're going to score a goal, not an own goal. We want to actually go from our foot back of net, their net. To be clear, game, let's go. They've had 66% possession. Fo Jorgensen picking up a card. Continuing in the same vein as Ryder Peterson. Right. I mean... Outside? I hear crowd. Yes! It's still not good that we just kind of let them waltz in there. I think we're going to go to counter. I, I thought doing standard was a bad idea. Not going to lie. We're going to go flexible. No, we're not. We're going to go structured. That's fine. We seem to be set up for that still, right? Just the guys play, play a little more relaxed. And if it still goes poorly, we may just go straight up defensive and try and just bunker down. We'll take the striker off. I'll play two defensive midfielders. I am not even scared. We are starting to control the match, possession, and we need to shoot more. Okay, we're playing counter. Do you understand? Like, sometimes I feel like they'd be like, oh, right, yeah, we're, it's like we're playing the Patriots in the NFL. Like, that was really bad goalkeeping. Staring, nice job dropping back to kind of disrupt that, but not getting to it, unfortunately. But it's like we're playing the Patriots. Like, we're not supposed to have possession or, you know, it to be nil-nil. They're supposed to score 74 times by now. Okay, get to it. All right, heads it down to a teammate. Progress. Oh, I feel like all of a sudden it's like we're, I'm, I'm coaching like an amateur team. And it's like, we just got promoted. We played really well last season. To be fair, we're playing a different formation. But maybe I shouldn't be celebrating simple things like we've had in it. But, you know, they are quite good. And we are, you know, the minnows of the league. Putros. Gundalak. George. Come on, George. Oh, nice ball into Donio. And then he just passes it straight at the key. At least back across the six yard box that way it's that it's that way. And anyway curves it right to him oh little chuckaroo there how are we already knackered down to 68% we've been running all over it's half we're halfway there boys what's up more the same of the restart uh sure we're, we're gonna say calmly are we pleased? I mean, well, I, I, I am pleased to say that. I'm pleased with how things are going. Keep it up, lads. Keep it up. Don't get booked. Here we go. Will that be the inspiring talk that they need? Will it? Okay, oh, this is still an hour into the pitch. I was hoping we were going to count, counter. Count, mm. Oh, come on. Like, if you're going to give us, give him a goal, 
not like that. That's like a, a lofty header, not a lot of pace on it. Let's watch that again. Come on. I mean, he wrong foots the keeper, but you were there, Yule. You were there, son. <sighs> we'll close him. Sure, it doesn't matter, does it? It really doesn't matter. What are we going to do, put four strikers on? It's one. It's one. I mean... We will try our darn best, I guess, is what we could say. Everyone's so tired. My goodness. Christian Anderson, come rescue us, will you? Will you? Will you come rescue us? You can place your shots. Let's see you do it. We, I, this is suicide. I don't think we should be doing this. I don't think we should be doing this, but we're going to be doing this. Um, right. We need a goal. There's 20 minutes left, so I kind of feel like we might as well go attack it. What, what, what? We're going to ruin our goal differential? We need points. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, lads? Staring's not playing well. He's He is quite alone up there, to be fair. Do we go with the old push five forward? Moomin, no, we need you, mate. Okay, we're going to take George off. He is quant. Oh, we got to do all kinds of substituting here. George? You're coming off, son. You're going. <laughs> what? I can't remember. Oh, good, right footed. Okay, right footed, eh? What, what can what can you do? You can play a deep line four. Not. Yeah, sure. Sure, it seems reasonable. He's got good passing. We'll take Foe York off. Reiner Peterson's going to come in. He's going to play a more supporting role there. We're going to bring these folks up. We'll just go limb on automatic. Just because we're crazy. We're feeling kind of crazy. Right. I can't believe how tired we are. I know it's the beginning of the season, but it's like... Passionately push forward, lads. I know we... Pep talk. Three minutes left of the game. Oh! Oh! I thought that was a penalty. No! I mean, what are you gonna do? Cheers. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say it just wasn't our day. I mean... 1-0 against the best in the league. I kind of feel like we got robbed a little bit, but we'll come back in nine days, apparently, for Silkborg. Stay tuned. All right, my friends, before we hop into the game here, I want to show you... I'll find it eventually. Season tickets, 1382. We sold 400 last season. We've also loaned out Per Anderson, who was kind of fiddle, the second fiddle to uh, Cameras Guard last season. Uh, so we've loaned him out to FC Ferrariccia in the second division. So he needed some first team playing time, was asking for it. He's £10 a week. So we said, sure. Victor Nielsen, for the third time since April of 2020, uh, has missed practice. So we let him walk. He was on the B team. It's like, mate, you, we're not, we, we weren't paying him for it. You know, so doesn't really. It's not like we had to pay a pay him the rest of his contract. He was on an amateur contract. So, if, dude, if you want to just go, just go. Like, come talk to me or something. We are hemorrhaging cash. That's always good to know. Okay, they've won all three games that they played against. They're playing our four three one two that we play with FC Kaiser Slaughter and the other series, which you should watch. It's amazing. If I do say so myself, someone's walking away with points today. We're <laughs> 12th and 13th. We're only in 12th ahead of them because of goal differential. Lovely. Lovely stuff. Do we do... I think I think we're going to try the team meeting. All right. There isn't a suitable reason to hold a team meeting, except morale is terrible. But, okay. We're going to bring Agud in on the right wing there for Gundelot, because Gundelot can cover the right back, and if we drop to a 4-1-4-1, he can play the, the right midfielder role, so we'll... we'll and we're bringing in Falk rather than Christian Anderson because Falk was just good last season. So that's what we're going to do. And hopefully with them not having any wingers, we can definitely exploit those wings. Um, go express yourselves. Yeah, except for you, Reiner Peterson. What can I you, mate? I would definitely do that. If I were actually in the locker room, maybe I'd... don't get sent off, man. 
don't you do it. We set an attendance record with the last game against, uh, obviously, the top tier, the top team in the league. That was nice. God's way. Pass. Nice. Lovely ball, son. Okay. Come on. A shin injury? How hard did they kick you? That's good. That's excellent. Having to bring a sub in first minute. Thank you for that. What, they like break his leg through his shin guard or something? I mean, you do wear shin guards, right? Is that... Clinical. Oh, I have a feeling it's going to be a long season. We've got to get some sort of points, though, right? Something going. We're not controlling the ball. Nope. Nope, for sure not. Let's try retaining that possession. See if we can get it up to... Nope. Nope. Are we that bad? You tell me. This is painful. Not another one. Give me a freaking break. God's way clears it out to nobody. That's because that's he. That's where he would normally be. R Nate. That's probably not how you say it. Staring. Okay. Okay. R Nate plays it back. I thought Staring got a foot to it. He pressured him into doing that. <laughs> uh, I'm just depressed. So so good. I don't blame him. Let's play counter. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do, friends? They scored three in 30 minutes, the bottom of the league. It's not, I don't, I, I don't have commentary to give you with this. It's bad. It's, we've had two shots, one on target. Let's fire him up. Sure, fire him up. I expect to see a better showing, like giving up one goal rather than three, right? What are you supposed to do? Staring's on a 6.2. 6.4, he's, oh, it's climbing. It's, it's very bad. We're on the break. I mean, do we just need to, why would you, do we just need to play like, a, f a five, four, one. Is that what we need to do? I'm not afraid to do that. Good, nice switch of the pitch there to Don's one. God, God, Don Yo, get it out. George, George, you have a runner. That's a bad pass. That's behind him. Gets it out to God's way though. Can we get something here? The comeback is real. I'm just saying oh, we're gonna celebrate, right? It's our first actual Super League goal. That came from the foot of our player into the back of the net. Donyo there, getting it to a good. Nice little link up. George is on a 6.4. Ooh. 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 Mm. We don't really have anybody that can play there. He's on a 6.4. Okay, Falk's on a 6.3. We can take, take, take care of that, I think. Right? Lawrence and oh yeah it's not it's not looking good I'm just happy we got our first goal but it doesn't really help us we need two more we I'm this is probably not the idea but we're gonna try it because we, we you can't counter your way to two more goals I don't think maybe Uh, who else is playing? Any, any, anybody else playing poor? Like, you want to switch out? Yeah, staring is off to a pretty bad start, I'd say. I, I, that's that's how I would argue it. Yeah, sure, we'll go flexible too. We'll go cr or just go crazy up in here. So I'm gonna need your comments on how to fix this. What kind of a formation should we use? I mean. 
these are the bottom of the table dwellers. Like, are we just going to get pounded down into the first division from here? Not even getting a highlight after making some offensive substitutions. Yeah, it's bad. It's very bad. <sighs> Not happy the result. Yeah, I think I think that's fair. They played poorly. Morale is terrible. Oh no. Oh no. A broken leg. You call that a shin injury? Our perceived extreme physicality in us. What? I'm not going to dignify that with an answer. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Oh, up against fourth place, and then twelfth, and then ninth, eighth. We, surely we can pick up a win. I mean, three losses in a row is not good. Let me know how you'd fix this in the comments. Go right ahead. Like, do we, like, do we play a 4 5 1? Do I put three center backs and two wing backs? Although we don't really play there, we could try that. We could play like a five three two or a five with one here. I don't even know what you'd call that, but three at the back, three here, that's six, seven, eight, and then two here. I you let me know what your thoughts are. Morale is crashing. This is not the start we were looking for. It's really disappointing. I hope they don't fire me. Surely. I mean, it says that they're... Where is it? Secure because we I have increased the... Uh, st improvement in the club's stature. But still, that that's not the start that you're wanting. Especially against the team that was in 14th place. To be fair, they didn't break our midfielder's leg. Alright, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop waffling and go to bed. Smash a like on it. Subscribe if you're new. Comments, bring them on, my friends. It's not, it's not good.